Whether you're a clerk or a waiter, an accountant or a doctor, your health matters. Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Tasida Tembo Peters and I welcome you to Your Health Matters. On today's program we look at anemia and we have two medical doctors from Levi Mwanawasa General Hospital who will explain more in details. These doctors are Dr. Karen Imasiku and Dr. Mary Rose Kabale. They define what anemia is the different types of anemia. They further tell us more about the symptoms, the management and prevention of the condition. As usual, we ask the people from Lusaka district what they knew about anemia. Anemia uh, is a condition of the blood in the country. Anemia is a blood, low blood. Count. What I know about uh, the anemia, sometimes it's like it's from the families, whereby we are from childhood. It finishes when you work hard, as long as you sweat, the blood, they advise the blood will finish. When you have malaria, the blood definitely will finish. So the best way, when you see that your blood normally finishes each and every time when you work hard or you have um, <coughs> malaria. It's better you take my, you go to the hospital, they will give you uh, folic acid and uh, tell us where to boost up your, your blood. Okay, bonga i mutungatari because mutupi, kambiri, tuma, tuma endo clinic. Songa tiba tuu za ti mutari because tuma esa ku, kugula monga ma drink, chanishi, juice, Na vina ngu vina ngu vina kamba ati kusoyeto vima shani isi mabitu. Hii balala anemi ya ndagari mwagale, but so far, hey, hima ninga about it, hey, hipe, tabeji. Anemia is uh, um, described as low blood levels in a particular age or sex. When you talk about age, when we classify anemia, in a certain age group, a specific age group, they should have a specific uh, hemoglobin level. And hemoglobin level is simply what we use to monitor uh, anemia in a patient. And for the sex also, it depends on whether they are male or female, they can have different levels of hemoglobin. So when this hemoglobin level is low for that age mentioned and the sex of the patient, then that is anemia. The types of anemia that we have, uh, we have uh, vitamin deficiencies such as uh, folate anemia. Uh, we also have uh, anemia due to chronic diseases. Uh, it could be malignancy or cancer uh, that can also cause anemia. It could be chronic diseases such as TB. It could be diseases such as anemia due to disease such as uh, renal dysfunction or renal disease. So in children, uh, we have um, anemia due to inherited causes like sickle cell disease. Then we can also have anemia due to diseases like um, TB or HIV. It can also be due to nutrient deficiency, which we see mostly in malnourished children. And also another cause of anemia would be worm infestations, such as tapeworms or hookworms, which are common in children. Uh, in adults, we, we see a lot of anemia in those who have um, uh, GI bleeding. And this blood loss uh, can be because they are bleeding, maybe from the mouth, from the throat, or they are, they are bleeding when they are going to the toilet. They are having bloody stools or they are vomiting blood. In women, it's due to the physiological change, which is just a pregnancy. The changes of pregnancy, because they have a fetus growing, which will also need iron, so they tend to have iron deficiency anemia. And also, it could be because they have prolonged menstrual periods. And the other cause of anemia can be due to acute bl blood loss. So in those who are involved in um, accidents, they lose a lot of blood, tend to see anemia in those um, people. And the symptoms of anemia, 
um, the person will come to the hospital or they'll be at home feeling dizzy, having a headache, or getting tired easily. They may also uh, notice that uh, the heart is beating fast or even having difficulties um, breathing. In children, those who have sickle cell, sometimes uh, the mother or even the child themselves, they may notice that the eyes are becoming um, a bit yellow. The treatment of anemia depends on the cause. So when we treat anemia, if the anemia is due to uh, nutrient deficiency, we give them the, the iron and ferrous sulfate, for example, or if it's, uh, if it's due to blood loss, and the anemia is severe, then we give them a blood transfusion. And also in the treatment, we can also counsel the patient on the kinds of foods that to take. They can take foods such as leafy uh, veg green vegetables, such as chihuahua, wondre, rape, um, and the other green vegetables that you have. They can take uh, meat, like beef, for example. They can take liver, they can take uh, beetroots. We can prevent anemia in children, uh, so we have to Children under five years of age, they have to attend um, uh, immunization or vaccination or under five clinics. So from there, they'll be able to pick up um, if the child is anemic or not. And uh, at the under five clinics, the mothers can be taught on how to, to take care of a child in cases of, um, of uh, nutrition. So uh, for children less than six months, we advise uh, women to exclusively breastfeed because if you start giving a child cow's milk, that uh, cow's milk uh, contains less um, B12 and less iron. And then uh, for those above six months, up to five, the mother can start adding uh, uh, nutritious food to the diet. So they can mash the, ve the vegetables or even mash the, the beef to add to to the, to the porridge that the child is eating. They can also add um, foods like um, carpenter. They can uh, pound the carpenter or mash the carpenter to add to the food. And then the children are also given um, some tablets uh, at the under five um, clinics if they are found to be anemic. For those that are malnourished, uh, the mothers are in, or the, caregiver, the caregivers are advised to seek um, health care at the nearest clinic and uh, from the clinic or the hospital that child can be treated of the, the malnutrition then we can prevent the, the anemia. For pregnant women they have um, antenatal clinics at most uh, clinics in Zambia so once they attend those clinics uh, the first thing that's done at the first visit is to measure the hemoglobin levels or the blood levels of that pregnant woman. Uh, even before it's low, uh, they are given a folate. Um, if it's low, then they are treated of that anemia. So, then the other thing, the mother has to continue going for antenatal clinics at least every three months until they deliver. Well, you now know a little more about anemia. Anemia is as a result of an underlying cause. It is therefore important that the condition is investigated because treatment of this condition is dependent on actually treating the cause. This has been Your Health Matters. Join us again next week at the same time. And I'm Dr. Tasira Tembo Peters. For me, I say stay healthy. It matters, it matters, your health, your health matters. Whether you're a student or a mother, a lawyer